Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm doing another terrestrial drive for you. Um, it's very effective. This is Carl's Cicada, right? Or a variation of Carl's Cicada. Um, slight, slight difference in the hook choice, but it's more or less the same fly. Uh, obviously, what's well if there's cicadas coming off, they're falling in. But, um, just a general kind of big terrestrial, it'll work well as too. Now I'm using a slightly different hook, it would probably be tied usually in a lot of hopper hook, but um, I'm using actually a wet fly hook, it's a Temco 760 SP in a size 6, so I've got the shank of an 8 hopper hook, but the the wide gape, I, pr I just prefer that for hooking up. As always there will be a materials list in the description, along with a link to the social media uh, and the Patreon page for anybody who'd be interested in supporting the channel I'd be eligible for giveaways in the future um, the next giveaway is probably got to be a terrestrial box so keep your eyes peeled for announcements on that so I've got a block of plastic right, it's about the hook gap and width and it's about 5mm thick, something like that. I'm going to just put a wee point in the end. Doesn't need to be super sharp. I'm going to take my lighter and just melt the end there and then if you're quick you can just sort of tease it together. That'll give you a nice, a nice shape at the end there, and it'll seal the foam as well. So, I've got to come back, I've put a nice coat of thread along the whole shank. Okay, I've got my thread just about in line with the barb, where the barb would be. I've just got to catch the back of this foam in. Don't want to wrap too tight in case you cut the foam. A couple of wraps onto the shank and then we'll come back onto the foam again just to help secure it. Now I'll just advance my thread to where the head's going to start. Take a wee bit of super glue and I'll coat the coat the shank there the thread wraps and then we'll catch this in tie it then and you can tie it take your thread and touching wraps towards the eye and you can take a loose one for speed if you want it doesn't really matter this will you will cover all this up Give that a wee squeeze to help the, the glue bite onto that um, foam. Underwing, I'm using Crystal Flash. I'm using the rainbow. I've got 15 20 strands and I'm folding it over the thread to double it. And I'm going to tie it back down the middle. Just spread that, let it lie flat. Get a nice clean base of thread. Just come, I'll just trim that just beyond the back of the body. Don't worry about it sticking up at the moment. Um, that's not a problem. Uh, when we tie the head back, it'll, it'll lie flat. Next is some calf tail. Take a good bunch, pencil width, something like that. For this size of fly, I'll just clean out any of the really short rubbish at the bottom. I'm going to stack it, I partially stack it. When I 
it's a big bunch of calf tail like that. It doesn't stack brilliantly, but that's actually what you want. I don't want the ends completely aligned. You know, there's still a sort of soft edge to it. Line that up. Let's pre trim the butt. Just catch them in. Now, to secure that, I'm going to put some super glue on the butts. I'm going to take my thread into the cut end there and then secure it down. Tie over. Right. So I've got something like this. Right, quite a spread wing, but it's well, well tied in. Rubber legs next. Um, up to you. Match the cicadas. Um, there's a sort of green cicada that comes off here. But there's also the orange ones. Or you could just do it all black. Um, up to yourself. It's your fly. Just take a, an orange and a black rubber leg on my side. Same one on the far side, just fold it over your thread. Tie them in. The back legs, I've got to tie them, I've got to cut them relatively long, uh, almost as long as the body. Front legs, a wee bit shorter. But again, it's entirely up to you. You could leave them longer or shorter, however you like. I don't like the legs too long. I want them to vibrate rather than flop. So last thing to do, just take this foam, fold it back, come in between your legs, Make a head. It's just a wee bit long, so I'm going to just come in, trim that away. And you can see that's flattened the wing nicely and spread it, um, which is what you want. A, a cicada spreads its wings when it lands on the water. I don't know, I mean, if you want to, you can add a sighter, but you've got the big white wing. I don't think it's that necessary. Just got to take a whip finish. Careful not to trap any legs. Make sure that's well seated. Sometimes the foam can fight you a wee bit, but that looks good. Trim away the waste thread. Now be very careful not to touch your rubber leg, just come in. A wee spot of super glue on those, that knot there. Just touch it so it can't run and damage the rubber leg. Now, I like to finish this off with a bit of head cement all along the belly um, just to seal all those thread wraps and offer a bit more protection uh, and that'll, that'll make the fly last a bit longer make it a bit more durable but there you go, there's a simple variation of Carol's Cicada easy fly to tie 
dead quick. Um, I mean, if you're not explaining it, you can tie these in about five minutes, easy, four minutes. So, hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to subscribe to my channel, check out the Patreon, share the video, etc. Take lines, guys. Bye.